Welcome to Have a Guitar. Today is the first time for a guitar lesson or a learn to play a specific song. Maybe you should say that. As you've already heard, the song is Juice by a little band known as Kiss. Uh, some people have a hard time seeing past the makeup of the band, but behind the makeup, the costumes and outrageous uh, stage show, I think they have some really good rock and roll tunes. Actually, I started to listen to Kiss. Uh, my first record was Destroy. I had no idea that the guys or the cartoonish guys on the front uh, actually was the band. I was stunned when I saw the first real picture of them, but I loved the music from the first moment I heard it. And the first song I heard was Flaming Youth because I didn't know there was an A and a B side to the records. <laughs> That's a true story. So, anyway, as I said, this is the first time. I think I'm going to do a series called Let's Play. I know that's an uh, established term for the gaming community. Let's Play and a game title. Here would be more like Let's Play and a song by a specific band, of course. And first out in this series, as I've already said, is Deuce by Kiss. Uh, by now you would have heard me playing to the backing track that I created uh, with a little help from a MIDI, MIDI file I found online. I switched the drums for Addictive Drums 2 so it sounded a little better. But MIDI is MIDI, never as good as a real drummer if you ask me. So the song, uh, it's a, I think it's a fantastic rock and roll song. Jim Simmons came up with it when he was toying around with the riff for Bitch by Rolling Stones which you might have heard, otherwise you should listen to it, because that is also a really good song, according to me. Uh, and I think this is a really good song. It's no uh, surprise that they used Deuce as an opener for many, many tours, uh, both in the past and present, I think. Anyway, it's not complicated, but it has a good drive. It's a really nice rock and roll song, at least according to me. And it really only has like three elements I think you could say so the opening uh, opening riff it's loose A string and on the 14th fret on the two middle strings uh, and the 16th so it's like like a rock and roll uh, rock and roll what rock and roll chord of course then you slide up on the A and D string to the 12th fret and the uh, 10th fret on the middle strings and then the 14th and the 12th fret like same position on the strings 14 12 14 middle strings 14 so all in all it's like again and you land on an F is that guitar out of tune or am I just playing sloppy I don't know I'm playing sloppy <laughs> yeah and then you get to the main riff which is uh, starts on A then you go C D like this three times A C B C, D, C, A, G. Only you should play those uh, chords on the on the middle strings and the string number <laughs> string number four or five, A and D. Uh, so in real reality, you play it like this. I think Paul Stanley is taking the A chord here. While Ace is playing an octave up here. So whatever you want to go, you go like. Oh, that's a little bit out of tune. Now in tune, I hope. You play the A chord three times. And then you go to the two middle strings. And then A and D string. So all in all, slow. Can I show you up close perhaps? Like this. And then 
repeat. Then in the verses, uh, when they are when I sing the verses, you land on the A, C, D, C, and back to the main riff. You get it? Verse A. And as for the main riff, I forgot to forgot to tell you, uh, they are doing this uh, staccato like. I'm not sure if that's the right word. They're not doing a pause. They're just like. Something like that. Uh, should tell you as well. Uh, the guitar is tuned down one step because that's what the boys were doing back then uh, to get a little bit more heaviness to it all, I think. Anyway, when uh, the verse passage is uh, through, you go to a C, then chromatic up to D, and then G, chromatic up to A, E. Like this, I'm gonna get up and show you. C and then down to an F sorry G three times back to the main riff and there you got it I can show you by the way uh, at least live, I think Ace is playing uh, a harmony. So you go C to D, G to A. I think that's Paul Stanley playing that. When I was playing to the backing track, I would take the harmonics. Like that. So now you know that as well. And then as for the little thing that Ace does sometimes, both live and uh, in the studio, I think. When uh, you come to the part where I have the... He would go... 3rd fret on the 1st and the 3rd string and slide up to the 5th. Like that. Sometimes he might do it up here. Something like that. Anyway, so that's the song really. You just put those pieces together and you have juice. Then we have the solo, uh, not complicated. Uh, as classic Ace, lots of bend, he gets that spacey feeling. Some people say he's not a good uh, guitarist. I beg to differ. He might not be a technical wizard, but he sure knows how to compose a solo that will lift the song or fit the song perfectly and that that is the characteristics of a really good musician to me not someone who plays 100 tons, tones per second uh, anyway the solo I'm gonna get up here I hope you can see it well here filming in 4k so you should it's in the pentatonic uh, he starts off second string fifth fret third string, seventh fret, and it bends that the third string, so it becomes unison, like that. And then like a vibrato, like this. And then it does something similar, but it hits the fifth fret on the first and second string, like this. And then a hammer on. And then at least live, and I think in the studio as well, he uh, plays the same riff, but a little bit different, like this. And then up to the 14th and 13th fret, on the 3rd and the 2nd string. Can you see that? Then up to the 17th fret, and bend like crazy. And then back to the 14th and 13th fret again. And 
then bend really high. Then it goes back here uh, on the second string on the ninth fret and tenth. On the third string on the ninth and seventh. On the fourth string uh, seven and five. And on the A string seven and five. And then, then the, sorry, and then the same thing but chromatically like this. And then back to the yeah so I'm gonna try to play the solo uh, really slow if I can I might miss something but you can follow here I think so you can see the whole solo slower in one move one take or whatever you want like this the first verse he just does a bend and a pull off like in the studio that rings out it gets feedback so I don't play that loud now but and then after that uh, he's followed by Pete on the drums it's like that's just it chromat chromatic and up to that tone So it's like For the end solo, uh, it's just like uh, now I didn't play it exactly like him, I haven't practiced that much, but mm. it's like the penta all the way up on the neck. Oh, so you have the 17th on the 20th fret on the second string, the 19th fret on the third string. Something like that, and then it goes to the uh, two lower strings, one and two. Something like that, and then it does this little thing, which is uh, it's 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 this shape that it goes. So that's not perfectly executed, but it's something like that. All right, so that's my first guitar lesson. I hope you like it and that uh, someone will have use for it. I know it's not that complicated, but uh, if you haven't played that long or uh, you're not that experienced, not that I'm that experienced, but anyway, then I guess you can have some use for it. And I'm sure there are plenty of use lessons <laughs> on, uh, on YouTube, of course, but uh, I'm just doing the songs I like. Uh, my style, maybe not perfect, but who said it should be exactly like the original? I don't care really if I can put my personal uh, stance on it, then it's fine by me. Uh, I should tell you as well, the profile I was using now, of course, that has a lot more distortion than the original uh, recording of Kiss or the live, a live album. But um, it's easy, easier to compensate with a little bit more gain or distortion than playing that loud like a 100 watts uh, amplifier going at max volume because that's that's silly loud 
really. Uh, anyway, the profile I'm using is by a guy called, or who calls himself at least, Are You Serious? Are you, let us, serious? And the profile is called, I don't remember. Diesel Herbert 2 Plus. Uh, if you register on the forum, I think someone has compiled all of his uh, profiles which are free. Or maybe you can find them on the rig. Um, um, Exchange is it called that? I think so. Uh, some uh, seriously good profiles, I can tell you. Anyway, if you like this, press like and subscribe. That's an order. Uh, no, just kidding. But I do sub I do subscribe. I don't subscribe. Not to my own channel. I don't need to. Uh, uh, anyway, subscribe if you like what you're seeing or if you want to see more. I think the more subscribers I can get, the more funny stuff I can uh, come up with on the channel, uh, maybe I will get some uh, offers to, to test out stuff. Uh, I only got a couple, but I want more. I want to try it all in one go. Uh, anyway, I really do appreciate you watching. And I even more appreciate if you uh, subscribe. Now I've talked enough about that. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot. That's what I wanted to say. And by the way, I hit over 110,000 views totally of all my videos on YouTube. Uh, small drop in the sea, but to me, it's just amazing. So thank you very much. So appreciated. What more can I say? Stay well, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.